The Fuxing EMU has been officially put into operation on the Qinghai Tibet Railway, and the Qinghai Tibet Railway has entered the EMU era. The Qinghai Tibet Railway, as one of China's famous plateau lines, has always attracted much attention in its construction and operation. In July 2023, with the Fuxing officially put into operation on the Xining to Golmud section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway, the Qinghai Tibet Railway has officially entered the era of high speed trains. This is gratifying news and a recognition of China's engineering technology and railway development. The Fuxing will run at the speed of a high speed train saving time for the operation of the Qinghai Tibet Railway and improving the efficiency of transporting passengers. In this video, let us learn more about it. 17 years after the entire line was opened to traffic, the Qinghai Tibet Railway, known as the Heavenly Road, officially began its launch era. On July 1, 2023, AC891 Fuxing train with a speed of 160 km per hour departed from Xining Station on the Qinghai Tibet Railway and arrived at Golmud Station in five and a half hours. This is the first time that the Fuxing has been put into operation on the Xining Golmud section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway. The Qinghai Tibet Railway is known as one of China's four major projects in the new century. It is the first railway to Tibet and the only railway link between the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and the mainland. The entire line of the Qinghai Tibet Railway is divided into two sections from Xining City in Qinghai Province to Golmud City, known as the Shiga Section and from Golmud City in Qinghai Province to Lhasa City in the Tibet Autonomous Region, known as the Jela Section. The total length is 1,956 kilometers and has a total of 85 stations. The Shiga Section of the first phase of the Qinghai Tibet Railway was built in 1958. In 1961, Railway construction was suspended due to factors such as the harsh natural environment and difficult construction conditions on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. In 1974, more than 10 years later, the Qinghai Tibet Railway started construction again and gradually overcame construction problems such as the Guanjiao Tunnel and the Salt Lake Roadbed. The Shiga section was put into operation in 1984, and the entire line from Xining to Lhasa was opened to traffic in July 2006. Due to limited construction conditions at the time, this section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway has subsequently undergone many transformations and upgrades. On June 29, 2011, the double-track construction of the Shigong section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway was completed and electrified operation was realized. In July 2022, the quality improvement project of the Xining to Golmud section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway was officially launched. In 2023, the quality improvement project completed equipment upgrading and EMU performance improvements laying the foundation for the Fuxing EMU train to successfully run on the Shigong section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway. On June 30, 2023, China Railway Qinghai Tibet Group Company, Limited held a press conference for the Fuxing EMU to arrive on the Shigong section of the Qinghai Tibet Railway. It was introduced at the meeting that the CR200J Fuxing EMU that will be put into operation this time is designed for high altitude, low temperature and other environments along the Xining Golmud Railway. It has UV protection, wind and sand resistance and other properties, and can meet the operational needs of an altitude of 3,500 meters. The body color of the EMU is based on Chinese white, with three tones of Chinese red, Sephora Japonica green, and Great Wall gray. The train is composed of nine cars, with a capacity of 676 people, 
and a maximum operating speed of 160 km per hour. The Qinghai Tibet Railway passes through the plateau area and the ups and downs of the road section are very different. This means that railway builders must overcome many difficulties, such as how to ensure the seamless stability of the railway and how to ensure that the track does not deform to support high-speed trains. In addition, the Qinghai Tibet Railway is tested by the special climate and temperature. In spring and autumn, the weather is full of wind and sand, and windy weather is frequent. The sun is strong in summer and cold in winter, with the lowest temperature reaching minus 40 degrees Celsius. The requirements are equally stringent for railway tracks and trains. The Fuxing train runs on the Qinghai Tibet Railway, and the vehicle itself has also been specially designed. For example, the car body is made of special steel which can resist wind and sand invasion and extreme temperature changes, remains stable and not deformed, and has the function of heat insulation. Due to the plateau's altitude of several thousand meters, the vehicle's power system also faces severe tests. How to ensure that EMUs always operate efficiently, safely, and stably in plateau areas is a rare miracle in the world. The altitude of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau is high, the air is thin and lacks oxygen. Therefore, trains on the Qinghai Tibet Railway cannot open windows. The train is equipped with an internal circulation system to supplement oxygen in specific areas to ensure that passengers can breathe sufficient fresh air. There are many differences between trains running on plateau roads and running in plain areas inland. The dispatch center and train drivers must pay special attention to the trains running on the plateau railway. For every display parameter of the instrument and every running instruction, standard control is strictly implemented. Since the EMUs on the Qinghai Tibet Railway were put into operation for the first time, they have brought passengers a faster travel experience. The running speed of Fuxing on the Qinghai Tibet Railway reaches 160 km per hour. Although it is slightly slower than the high-speed railway, it is quite satisfactory considering the special terrain and climatic conditions of the Qinghai Tibet region. While riding the EMU, passengers can also enjoy the unique scenery of the Qinghai Tibet region. The interior of the EMU vehicles is very clean and tidy, providing a comfortable and pleasant riding experience. The carriages are bright and spacious, with complete facilities, high hygiene level and fresh air. At the same time, the EMU vehicles have also been specially designed to adapt to the special climatic conditions in the Qinghai Tibet region. All these details reflect the railway company's dedication and service awareness for the passenger travel experience. The operation of EMUs on the Qinghai Tibet Railway has greatly shortened the travel time of passengers. Under normal circumstances, it takes about nine hours to take a train from Xining to Golmud, but now it only takes about five and a half hours to take the Fuxing EMU to reach the destination. This means that what originally took nine hours one way can now almost cover a round trip, saving passengers a lot of time. This is undoubtedly a huge convenience for residents and travelers living in the Qinghai Tibet region. The construction and operation of the Qinghai Tibet Railway have played a positive role in the residence and economic development of cities along the route. The geographical constraints of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau have always been a bottleneck for the development of this area. Now, the operation of EMUs has enabled the three cities of Xining, Golmud and Dalinga to form an efficient economic circle. The Qinghai Tibet Railway will provide important support for economic development, talent exchange, resident travel, material transportation and strategic needs in the plateau area. 
This also reflects the boosting effect of China's rapid development of high-speed trains and high-speed rail on economic construction. The Qinghai Tibet Railway's entry into the EMU era is just a microcosm of China's high-speed rail construction. With the rapid development of China's high-speed rail and EMU fields, railway trains on various sections will continue to speed up, making more contributions to local development and national takeoff. As an important achievement of China's industrial and railway progress, the Qinghai Tibet Railway has witnessed the strength of China's comprehensive national strength. In the future, China will continue to increase the speed of railway trains in various regions, provide people with more convenient and efficient travel options, and promote the prosperity of the national economy and the improvement of comprehensive strength. As a successful case of China's industry and railway construction, the Qinghai Tibet Railway also provides valuable experience and inspiration for railway development in other plateau areas. In general, the entry of the Qinghai Tibet Railway into the EMU era is an important milestone in the development of China's railway construction. The operation of the Qinghai Tibet Railway not only improves the travel efficiency of passengers, but also brings huge opportunities for the development of plateau areas. At the same time, this also demonstrates the strong strength of China's engineering technology and the improvement of the country's comprehensive strength. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.